Hello and welcome to the BS Academy. Now this is the fourth subject of the Gate Mechanical 2021. The subject name is IM and OR or you can say that the industrial engineering. For this subject we have made total four charts in which we will cover all the concepts and the syllabus for the industrial engineering subject. Now in the first chart of the industrial engineering subject we will include the forecasting process as well as the assembly line balancing and the last topic is queuing theory now let's begin with the first one which is forecasting forecasting estimates the demand of future and the lead of demand in the future then first one is supply chain management is there in that the chain will be like supplier then manufacturer then warehouse then distributors then retailers then customers then after the types of forecasting, first one is on the basis of time, there are three types, short term forecasting which is less than one year, then long term forecasting which is for greater than three year and the medium term forecasting which is for one to three year. Then after there is the note there, short term forecasting is for training related activities and demand will be function of something like uh, there are five types of demand, first one is destable demand then cyclic demand then seasonal demand then fourth one is residual demand and the last one is trending demand then on the basis of availability of the data there are two types first one is qualitative forecasting and the second one is quantitative type of forecasting so for the qualitative forecasting there are four types first one is group averaging then after the group consensus then delphi method and the last one is market survey then the second one is quantitative type of forecasting this is also known as time series forecasting now the five types are there first one is simple moving average or rolling average or time horizontal method then the second one is weighted moving average method or rainfall forecasting method then third one is simple exponential smoothing method and fourth one is regression method the fifth one is least square method. Now for the simple moving average method, Fi is equal to sigma dA by n and for weighted moving average method, Fi is equal to sigma wi into di upon sigma wn then equation then for the regression method equation will be like sigma yt is equal to a into sigma t plus b into sigma t square and a is equal to sigma y by n minus sigma x upon n then b is equal to n into sigma xy upon n into sigma x square minus sigma x into sigma y upon sigma x square then third one is simple exponential method for this method the equation will be like ft plus 1 is equal to alpha into dt plus 1 minus alpha into ft where you can say that alpha is equal to smoothing constant and value of alpha is equal to 2 by n plus 1 and f2 is equal to alpha into d1 plus 1 minus alpha into f1 here remember that the value of alpha should always in between 0 to 1 then there are two cases are there if f2 is equal to f1 then alpha is equal to 0 and stable demand is there then ft plus 1 is equal to dt then f2 is equal to d1 then alpha is equal to 1 so the error is d1 minus f1 or dt minus ft then the last method is least square method for this method a is equal to sigma y by n then b is equal to sigma xy by sigma x square and y is equal to a plus bx so these are the five methods from this mainly the questions were asked now the second topic is assembly line balancing in this first one is manufacturing point of view in which with the critical time is based on the maximum amount of the product and the second topic is time point of view in which the critical time will be taken as the cycle time or maximum time for the cycle then cycle time ct is equal to greater than station time always remember that cycle time ct is always greater than or equal to station time then line efficiency L is equal to sigma ST by CT into N and balance delay BD is equal to 1 minus LE then BD is also equal to sigma IT upon CT into N where IT is equal to ideal time and CT is equal to cycle time 
then smoothing index si is equal to under root sigma i is equal to 1 to n ct minus st of i square and si should be as low as possible then critical time over bottleneck time eta min is equal to sigma st by ct and for l is equal to 100 percent bd is equal to 0 percent and eta is minimum note that le is always in the percentage then there is one example there which was asked in the get examination now the third topic is queuing theory in that first point is lambda which is equal to customer arrival rate and it follows the poisons distribution p of t is equal to lambda t raised to n into e raised to minus lambda t by n factorial then pt means for the second one is mu is equal to customer service rate which is assumed to be exponential distribution the equation for that p of t is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus mu t then then the third one is system and calling population system is the place or facility where customer arrive in the order to get the service and its capacity may be finite or infinite then note there lambda less than mu is the condition of steady state finite q then fourth one is customer attitude there are three types of attitude there first one is choky second one is barking and third one is reneging in the choking the customer keep changing the queue in the barking customer leave the queue after waiting for long time and in the reneging customer join the queue for the short duration time and after receiving the service customers leave the group then candle notation is there a gem b gem c is equal to d gem e gem f where a is equal to probability distribution for arrival pattern then b is equal to probability distribution for service pattern then c is equal to number of service in the system d is equal to service rule or service model then e is equal to size or capacity of the system and f is equal to size or capacity of the calling population or you can say that input source then after expected waiting time in the system ws is equal to 1 upon mu minus lambda then expected waiting time in the queue is equal to wq is equal to lambda by mu into mu minus lambda and wq is equal to rho into ws then there is one other point is there then traffic intensity or you can say that the system utilization or average utilization or channel efficiency or the clearing ratio will all be same as the rho and rho is equal to lambda by mu so the rho is equal to 70 percent means 70 percent of time is waiting time then if the system is idle then probability of zero customer in the system p0 is equal to 1 minus rho and n customer in the system is given by pn is equal to rho raised to n into p0 where 0 less than or equal to n less than or equal to infinity then note there sigma n equal to 0 to infinity pn is equal to 1 then fourth one is length of the system ls or expected number of units in the system ls is equal to lambda upon mu minus lambda and ls is equal to lambda into ws then expected number of units in the length of the queue lq is equal to lambda square upon mu into mu minus lambda and lq is also equal to lambda upon mu into ls and lq is equal to rho into ls then lq is equal to lambda into wq also lq is equal to rho square upon 1 minus rho then variance v is equal to lambda into mu upon lambda minus mu square then average length of non mpq l n eq is equal to mu upon mu minus lambda then tenth one is little slow for stable system lq is equal to lambda into wq is equal to rho into ls and ls is equal to lambda into ws so this is all about the first chart of the industrial engineering in which we have covered the first one is forecasting methods then after the second one is assembly line balancing and at the last queuing theory is there so if you like this video please do like and subscribe to the bs academy 
and press the bell icon for the upcoming video if it is useful for your other friends then please share this video who is preparing for the gate examination 2021 thank you so much